Hello, hello. Welcome to the Deborah Berry channel. If this is your first time, I am Deborah Berry. This channel is about fashion and styling and doing everything we can, ladies, to hold on to our pretty. It's about getting dressed and looking your absolute very best. Always get up, get dressed, and look your very, very best. And of course, welcome back to my returning subscribers and viewers. I love you, I thank you, and I appreciate you. Okay, here we are, here we are, here we go, here we go. <laughs> I just want you to know it is cold here in the city today. I think it's 29 degrees or, or even less. I don't know. It's snowing right now. We had our first snow uh, Saturday, so so depressing. But it wasn't a lot, you know. You can still see the sidewalk. Uh, the grass has a lot of snow on it. So let's just get started how you've been. How's everyone? I'm going to start with the lips, then we can chit chat, right? On my lips, I just pulled out Pat McGrath. The, the not Pat McGrath. It's yeah, Pat. I pulled out Miss McGrath, the pencil crayon. I love these. I love these, and I felt like, you know, I kept thinking one time I should just keep a red lip, but I said let me do a little pink lip. I think this color is called uh, Flash Bulb Fuchsia. You know, I read that without my glasses. <laughs> read that without my glasses. Flash bulb fuchsia. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I just used my uh, Charlotte, another C name. Used her lip liner. Though I could have used one of my uh, Pat McGrath. This one is kind of a rose color. I'll list it. It was really darker, but you can use any pencil or none because this goes on so great and it doesn't transfer. Love these. You know, I have about four of them. I keep saying I'm going to get the darker one. <clears throat> I've yet to do that and I need to get it, you know. So, how you been, ladies? On my nails, let me show you my nails. They, they are horrible again because I did them last Wednesday and I've been out running around. You had Thanksgiving, you had... That Friday after Thanksgiving, usually I do my nails on Saturday, but everything was just topsy turvy this week. So, but it's a beautiful color. It's an olive and June. I got my olive and June order in. I should have brought those bottles. I'll show them to you by and by. But this color, the color is called Twilight, but it's a purple. It has a purple tone to it, and I'm not a big purple person. But, but this was kind of pretty. I guess it is. It's got a little bit of opalescence in there with that. And it's the quick dry. So you might want to try it out if you're a purple lover. And I know my ex-boss at BJC, Jewel, you would love this. She loved all things purple. I mean, there was nothing you could give her that if it was purple, she wanted it. It didn't matter what, <laughs> what it was. If it was purple, she wanted it. She loved purple. And I do have the Dermalac as the base, you know, and everything, as always. <laughs> and this time I did use uh, the Quick Dry has a Quick Dry top coat. It comes in a gold bottle where the other top coat comes in silver. So if you want to try the Quick Dry and do the top coat, here it is. So that, that also. All right, what's next? Oh, fragrance. I'm in the DNG again, Dolce and Gabbana, the Queen, the Q Intense. Oh my God. Mm, mm, this crown weighs, it's just it's heavy. Wow, what did I have it weighted down with? So I have Q on. I don't like, I need to put some more on. You just never get enough of it. It's just so perfect winter fragrance, too, I think. It's, it's a little spicy, a little, it's very nice. So. You know, I'll list her. She's down there. I'll list her. Well, she's down there. I'll list her below, you know. And I want to make it clear how to get to when I say I list things. In case some, because some of you will write to me, will comment and say, you know, is there a link to this or that? If there's a link, it's in the description box, which I, they wish they would, they don't name it that. It's, it's under the, when you're reading on the uh, screen and you'll see, like so much typed about the, what I'm talking about and you'll see the word more really in bold click on that and a drop down box will open up and the links and any other information is in there my email address if you want to contact me or send me something uh, my Instagram page or whatever Facebook but that's all in there 
and you can uh, get the links and uh, get, get get whatever you like. So this will be in there in the uh, description box. Okay. All right. Let's see what we're going to talk about. <clears throat> I wanted to uh, thank you all for the wonderful Thanksgiving wishes you sent me. And oh, I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Yeah, I ate too much, but I eat too much every day. So I can't blame it on Thanksgiving. But I wanted to ask you something. I was where we went. We went to my sister-in-law's house and her daughter made this cake. And she kept saying, you're going to eat some of this? And it was in the cover, so I opened it up. I said, ooh, it was like a butt cake. It had a glaze on it, and it had all these pecans, and I love pecans. She said and it was a sweet potato pie pound cake. When I tell you I was over the moon, that just melted in my mouth. It tasted like I was eating sweet potato pie and pound cake combined. Where have I been? I never heard of this. I got home. I called my sister. She never heard of it. We never heard our mother talk about it. I haven't heard anybody talk about a sweet potato pound cake. And I went and Googled, and there's all kind of recipes and people making the sweet potato pound cakes. Like, where have I been? My God, that sweet potato pound cake. Mm. Talk about chef's kiss. Mm, mm, mm. And that was her third time I think she said she had made one at home and she made it she did a phenomenal job and it's a little work involved but you know you got to puree those sweet potatoes like when you do I I'm no baker but oh so if you've heard of sweet potato pound cake just let me know have you heard of it have you made one do you like them you know and I I, I can eat sweet potato pie I like pumpkin pie the best but that sweet potato pound cake mm, and I ate two pieces sitting there at the Thanksgiving. I brought three pieces home trying to be nice because I wanted to bring like just half of the cake. I was like, dang, I'll eat this. Let me have it. And so I'm telling, I'll share with my husband. He didn't get any. He talked about me. He said, I said, well, you took too long. I left one piece and it was two days later. He still hadn't eaten it. I ate that sweet potato pound cake. It's right here. Mm -hmm. One piece is here. One piece is here. Mm -hmm. it's, it's right here. <laughs> Proof that I ate it. It was so good. So I digress. But I hope you, you know, had a wonderful Thanksgiving. And, and now it's all the Black Friday sales and getting ready for Christmas. That's what I love about it. I don't like the weather, but I love that. So uh, we did go out uh, Friday after Thanksgiving. Remember I told you we had some things that, uh, things, functions we were going to go to. So we went to that. It was the uh, Black Cats Dance. Black Cat, Cat spelled K-A-T-Z. The original Black Cats. <laughs> it's a social club. If you're from St. Louis, you'll know what I'm talking about. Anyway, we went to that on Friday, and I will put pictures up of what we wore. And when I tell you, overweight over here, couldn't wear any of the stuff I, in my head that I wanted to wear. I couldn't get the pants zipped. I couldn't breathe. So I found the one pair of pants I can still wear, which are those black pants that I did a video on with those black pants. And I did the little short, the tuxedo jacket that goes with them. And I put on a Lurex gold Ralph Lauren turtleneck and my gold um, Mark Fisher. Yeah, Mark Fisher. Uh, Mules, you know, I have patent ones and I have gold ones. You've seen it. So the hill's not too high. But when I tell you we were dancing in it, this knee is still out of whack from having that that, that much of a hill on that long. Because this, I was like, oh God, my legs just not. The knees say, please. You thought you was uh, 35 or something trying to dance. I didn't do a lot of it. We did slow dancing, but I didn't do any of that line dancing and all of that. So I. 72, I guess, and not moving enough, but we had a nice time. Okay, Saturday night we were supposed to go to the jazz concert, and that's when the snow started Saturday afternoon, and it was coming down, and I was tired, and I told him, I don't want to risk it. I don't know how the roads will be coming home at night, and, you know, the first time of the snow, it can be really messy. And he didn't, he didn't fuss too much, but I know he had paid... Pay. It was only $70, and then we would have eaten. So I kind of saved him some money by not going. So we didn't go. But Sunday, we did go to church yesterday. We went to church, and it was cold outside. I had to put on a real coat. 
a real coach. You know, usually I can put a blazer on, turtleneck, and put my shawl on. Mm -mm. I had to have a real coat. So, um, what did I wear to church? Oh, I wore my uh, I wore my chocolate brown faux leather. Let me get the pictures. Faux leather, uh, chocolate brown, Vince Camuto faux leather skirt. Some brown boots that I've had, I love. I wore a sweater and another sweater, two sweaters. And I put my my old classic Calvin Klein, Calvin Klein black coat on, really A-line and long. Love that coat, love it. So we did that. So that's what we did yesterday. So church was fine. It was good to be back. We missed last Sunday, you know. But it was first Sunday, so we did communion. Okay, what else? Oh, I meant to, I'm, I want to give a shout out. While I was at the function Friday night, I ran into two subscribers. You know, one I, I've been knowing since uh, high school. Well, I knew her sister. Anyway, I just want to give a shout out to say hi to Peggy. She was in town and she says, I follow you. I look at you every week. I love your channel. Thank you, Peggy. Love and kisses to you, Peggy. And I want to give a shout out to Miss Sheila Reed. She is a local celebrity. And uh, I can't believe that she, 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 she came over to me. I watch your channel. And I think you are wonderful. I mean, she's this elegant, beautiful woman. And I just was so flattered. And my husband's like, so you think you are a celebrity, huh? I say, I am. If I run into my subs, that's right. I'm the celebrity. They are my girlfriends. And I, I just love that. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys for coming over, saying hello, and, and letting me know you watch my channel. That's I just love that. I love that. So if any of you see me, hey, come over, talk to me. Talk to me, you know, and just, just chit-chat. We can talk about stuff. Okay. Got that all out the way. Uh, the church and the outing and everything. So you know what? Yeah, she's been shopping a little bit. It is time now, ladies, for new stuff. Yes, new, new, new stuff. Okay, I have, I wanted to share with you, oh, before I go to new stuff. Well, I'll get back to it. I'll come back to it. Let's keep, let's stay on this roll while we're here. I want to, um, remember last week, I showed you the, uh, the black suede shoes that I told you was the perfect party shoe. And I told you I ordered them. Because this is, they were the Circus New York, remember? Just to refresh your memory, I'll take it out. And they were there 60 bucks. They're still, oh, wrong one. Let me get the new. This is the new one I want to show you because I ordered it again. But you'll remember this. The black suede Circus. It's the perfect party shoe. It's got a bit of a heel. I I, I have to say, lady. You know, she's got a big of a, a bit of a heel. Remember these? I, I showed you these last week. Remember? The suede. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, and I told you I ordered them in another color. Well, I got the other color. Let me show you. Let me just set that down. Because <laughs> you know if it's a good one. I got it in this green color, and it's like a satin. Look at that color. Look at that. Perfect holiday shoe, and I'm telling you, she comes in a red. It's not a bright red. It's almost like a between red and burgundy satin. But are you ready for this? And I wish it was here. She comes in silver leather. She comes in black leather, too. I failed to mention that last week. She comes in silver leather, and I ordered the silver ones because I thought, hey, go big or go home, right? So here is this one in the green. Look at that. That's satin. You know, if you had a special function to go to, and there is cushion all in the for the ball of your foot. There's cushion here, and the heel's up a little bit, but it's not real tall, but there's built-in cushion that Sam Elliman put in there that is fabulous. And for 60 bucks, I mean, come on, go for it, please. I'm sure they're still on sale. Check Macy's, check Nordstrom's, both, both places. I will put a link down here and you can look, look them up. Yes, you gotta click on that. Beautiful, beautiful. 
gorgeous shoe gorgeous shoe let me try to you know me I keep keep my stuff one of you sent me a link about for my tall boots the things you can put down in the boot I keep all of my boots in the box and I put all of the tissue paper back in it but I do need to get some of that if I ever have a closet where I can stand everything up it would be nice but sometimes even just to store it I just I keep this I will keep this in this shoe forever this part here I'll always store it like that it's funny this one don't have a bag and if those came in a bag I believe somebody had ordered these and sent them back and didn't put the bag in here nonetheless I have them but the red color and I got these in an eight and a half just so you'll know an eight and a half ran really true to size. I don't know what they're calling. They're calling this emerald, emerald quartz. That's a cool color name for it, right? So, a new pair of party shoes. This is the season. You're going to get invited places and need a, a perfect shoe. And you don't have to spend two and three hundred dollars for a stupid shoe. Sixty bucks, sixty, sixty-five, something. It was reasonable. Like I tell you, they got it. It's with the Black Friday. So, Jump on there right now if you have to stop the video and go order them right now because they probably still have them. All right. Also, I was I was in the mall. When was I in the mall? Does it matter? It was last week before before Thanksgiving, Wednesday, I think. And I went in my favorite little store, Michael Kors, of course. I always go in there because I love the salespeople in there. They're so sweet and nice and fun, and they just think I'm... I hung the moon, you know, they give you all this extra tissue, which I don't know why. But I spotted this little bag, and I, I apologize now that I didn't open her up ahead of time. So it's kind of like an unboxing. But it's, it's the cutest little bag. What do I need that for? And I'll put all this down here. And I'm sure you've probably seen it, but I spotted her because the animal print. Look at this. Look at that. Let me get the little scissors out. But this bag, I think she's called, I forgot the name of what she's called. Did you give me something? Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to off camera undo all of this and I'll be right back. Right back. All right, I'm ready now. All right, first of all, she is called the Ludlow. And it's in the uh, multi color. It's like a snake skin. Look at her. She comes in a multitude of colors as far as solid, smooth leather, blues, and purples. And she comes in a, a I'm trying to think, a golden. Anyway, I wanted to show you this. This is, if you want to wear it as a top handle, this is the beauty of it all. She has this convertible. These little straps on the side, that's magnetic. You kind of pull down. Kind of clips under, underneath there, not magnet, it clips under there and then it grabs that. So you just pull down on that, pull down on this one, and you can wear it as a shoulder bag. Look, and you can wear her as a shoulder bag. How cool is that? It's, it's, and it just looks so adorable. There's a back pocket. Let me let's let the straps down again. Oh, I love these straps. I kept look, I love the shape, but it's almost like an east-west bag, right? They're doing all these new names for these bags. Lined in a in a fabric like canvas type. Has the micro cores very slightly on the front. Opens up. And inside you've got really nice storage. Really nice. My phone will fit in there. A small wallet. My little, you know, the ones I carry. You know, compact lipstick, keys, whatever you need. It's got a little slot right here. Beautiful leather right here. And then that fabric, that kind of like a burlap, but very smooth canvas weave. Beautiful bag. Regularly priced at $3.98. I got it for 100 and something. And I think it's online right now for 100 And I don't know if it's $1.98 or I don't even know if I still have mine. My receipt. If I had it, I could tell you about it. I stuck it somewhere. Lovely, lovely though. Isn't she adorable? And I needed another brown. I'm in need of some brown stuff in my wardrobe. But 
beautiful. If you were thinking about this bag, beautiful. Look at her. Look at her. Look low. I will list her below, ladies. Add her to your wardrobe or great Christmas gift. A great Christmas gift for someone special. Even you. Right, right. Okay. Got the Michael Kors bag. I also was online shopping. Let me put all this right here. I want to show you this first. You know how I do. I Remember this bag, ladies? My favorite. Kate Spade with the suede on the sides. Green suede, red suede. Then you got the blue leather and the black leather. I wore it with that Ralph Lauren outfit that had all these colors. And I love the handle. And I kept saying they need to do just a plain one. Well, I was on the Kate Spade site. And it was having a sale. Again, I'm sorry I hadn't unboxed it. This is just how she came. Let's see if we can get through this without too much fanfare. I think this one's called the Turn Lock bag. I got a great deal on this one. They have her in like a blue color that is very, very unappealing. It's like an icy blue. No offense if you're into icy blue. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, ladies. I love it. I love finding a good deal. Give me that. Here. Anyway, this one's in black and it's all leather. All leather. Look at that. It's black on the front and back and white leather on the sides. Ooh, ooh, wee. Is that beautiful? Let me get this strap off of here. When I say just, just gorgeous, because that handle. You know I love the handle on here, but look at that. Look at him. Sisters. Sisters. Oh, it's beautiful in black and white. Oh, oh. Okay, let's see what's on here. What it says on here. So I can share that with you. And I can be right about it. This is called... <clears throat> so it retailed at $3.98. It's the color block multi yes wow so pretty retail at 398 <laughs> i got this for i forgot real good deal real good deal look it's got the zipper part right here i got stuff in the way i need to and the way this opens and of course there is a, a crossbody strap too there that is. Of course, it's hooked on. And you get a bag. And let's see if I can take some of this inside out to show you. Of course, the inside is... And I will keep... How I keep my purses, I put all this stuff back in there. I keep it in there. I don't keep these things, though. Do you? But here's the inside. Let me move that. There's the inside. Can you see? She is soft and beautiful. On the bottom, she has feet. Here's the bottom of this one. Here's the bottom of this one. You know, when you just have a good thing, look at that. Gorgeous. I was like, oh, the ladies got to see this. Got to. And I, I kept on, and I finally went on, and I said, like Friday prices, I probably got it for 200 I can't remember. But anyway, I don't have time to put all this back in here. I want to talk to you. But I got the bag, right? And I'll put the strap back in here. It's hooked up. But that is the Tory, the Tory, the Kate Spade beauty. Kate Spade. Ah, every now and then I run across a Kate Spade that just just tugs at my heartstrings. Tugs at my heartstrings. Mm -hmm. Put it in here. I'm trying to like clean up as I go with you. Talk to you. I'll clean up later, but oh, mm, I love this. Man, I'm trying to stuff this poor thing. One, give me a second. I just cut this off so it doesn't keep trailing behind me. There you go. 
So, ladies, you think, you know, you might want to get a bag or two or three. That Michael Kors bag is, I think that's, that's a, a beautiful thing. Beautiful. In the summer when you put your little black and white stuff on because this is how you put the straps on you got the little loops there but I just carry her like a top handle and she was so comfortable and I could get my small little wallet in there my glasses my phone and just beautiful beautiful you know how I got those other two Kate Spade bags that have that look like a bow these are great if you can get a chance to get get this jump on it Jump on it. Okay. New stuff out of the way here. Let me move it. It's just Christmas all around me, right? And if you saw the mess that I need to clean up, you'd be lucky. What the? Come on, Barry. <laughs> so. All right. That's the new stuff. I got some more. I got one new piece in today's uh, fashions that I'll, I'll share with you. Oh, did you notice I have the Michael Kors earring zone that I showed last week that I can't seem to find listed anywhere. And I just have to say, as much as I like them, they came with the cheapest little back. It looked like some from the dime store, you know, the little thing. So I used my Kate, some more Kate Spade earring backs and Tory Burch earring backs, whatever, to put them on with or some of my, so, you know, give me, you know, you pay for the earrings, you get these little cheap little, you know the kind I'm talking about, little silver backing piece to go on there. Uh -uh. No, we want it to be top class all the way, but the earrings are cute. So, <laughs> Also, before I, I move on to topic, I want to give a special, special thank you to Dar Darnella. She sent me a super thanks, and I'm always grateful and very, very thankful to get a super thanks, especially from you, because you care about me. You believe in me. You guys support me. And, you know, I love this, the super thanks. Thank you. But just view it. View my video each week. I get paid for each view that you look at. And if you look at it all the way, it's all the better. And if you share it with someone and they look at it, that's the better. You know, the ads can run on it and I get paid from the ads. So if, if you guys, you don't have to go come out your pocket to support me. Just, just out of your time, a little time out of your life, right? <laughs> a little time out of your life, and just talk me up to to, to whoever you think would wanna would wanna join and subscribe and, and watch. That's right. So, but all nonetheless, thank you, Darnella. Thank you so much. I, I love getting the super thanks. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, like I said, it's cold outside. It's still snow falling out there. It's winter time. And I thought it is time to do a video on layering up. Putting, a, you know, how usually you can put on a blazer and a little sweater and get going. It is cold. You want to put your layers on. So I wanted to do a, a video just featuring a few pieces from my closet um, and show you how I layer up. But you can layer up in, with style. Layer up with style, you know, put the things on and and layer up. And I want you to, um, I want to show you something else. Stick around to the end. After I do the finale, I'm going to show you a piece that I'm on the fence about keeping. And I, I'm going to ask your opinion. You know, I always ask you guys because if I, usually I, I don't, I don't need help making up my mind. But I keep saying I want to keep it, but should I keep it? But I, but I, but I. So, and you know, you guys had me. I sent that red purse back and I waited for another one. But you also had me to keep that green dune bag that I'm, this, I sit here and I don't want it. I want to just give it away to somebody. I don't want it. I wish I, there's so much stuff I wish I could give to you guys, which I would. But shipping and all the time it takes, you know, I'm just laziness on me. I wish you guys were near me where I could say, come on over to my house. <laughs> Here, pick, pick, take it. <laughs> I wish there was a way, a simpler way to to uh, get you stuff because I love giving. If I'm not wearing it, I want someone to wear it who likes it. So, But anyway, 
back to topic it's all about the layers so I put four looks together dug through the closet and said let's do some layers it's cold outside baby it's cold outside so I will be right back with the first look and this is part of it you see I got a turtleneck I love wearing a turtleneck and a blouse it's just something about that I love it just I don't know it makes me feel Ralph Lauren and just equestrian not that I'm getting anywhere near a horse but just that, that sportsman look, that uh, quiet luxury look, money but no money look, you know what I mean? Anyway, I'll be right back, ladies, with look number one, this one. See ya, bye. All right, it's cold outside. You got some place to go. You want to throw on your layers before you put your big coat on and everything. And this is a new piece I was telling you about that I got at uh, an art from Dillard's. I saw it in the store and I thought it was a <laughs> what you gonna do? <laughs> Let me get my bag. Let me get my bag. Put her up there, right? Act right. You don't show off when mama trying to do something. <laughs> Back to the fashions. <laughs> I love a good laugh, right? Anyway, this piece is kind of like a Sherpa. Boiled wool, it's a big vest with pockets and it feels cozy, it feels cozy. I have only just a chocolate brown turtleneck, a really old one, probably 10 years old from INC. Michael Kors necklace, the Michael Kors earrings, the Michael Kors bracelet, <laughs> my Chico's uh, bracelet, Michael Kors watch, I said bracelet, didn't I? Anyway, I love the pockets on here. I love that it's just it's just wrap. I put on my big shirt from Banana. I just thought it needed something else to hang. I feel like a little fat Sherpa because I got all these layers on with these my corduroy Banana Republic pants. And I put on, I showed you these shoes when I got them a while back. It's my first time even putting them on and they are comfortable. You know, I love a, a lace-up shoe that looks like a man's shoe. Let me show you. On my feet. I think they are Franco Sardo. They're like a alligator textured lace up. Nice little sole in this brown color pattern like. Really kind of a cool little uh, shoe to have for now. In these days when you know the weather's cold and a little bit wet out and it won't mess them up. They've got a nice, nice little sole on the bottom. And my corduroy pants are long. <laughs> And I want to, I, I grab this bag, you know, I don't have chocolate, chocolate brown, but this is the Brahmin bag. I'll try to list her if I can find it. It's a good one to carry with this, or I could carry, I need a big, nice chocolate bag. And I haven't found the perfect chocolate bag that I want, but we, we're going to find her. But I don't know, you can play with the browns. This is about a hat. Now this little vest comes with its own self belt. And I, you know, sometimes they don't like the self belts. I want that on. This was an old brown belt that I had. And it has the loops sewn in on here. I really, I looked at it as a way to take them off without, you know, ruining the, um, the thing. I would love to take the belt loops off so that I can put a wide belt or whatever kind of belt I want. But it did come with a belt. I'm going to show you that. <laughs> Eventually, I'm going to show you that, ladies. All right, let's see. We're going to get through this. Again, you're playing with just layers. It's all about the layering this week. It's all about putting on a couple of layers and being warm. And it's nice with the... I like the self one. It's, as far as self belts go, it's a decent one. It ties, and you just want to keep it neutral. When I mean, you could put this on with all black. You could put this on with all winter white. You could even throw this on with some denim, dark denim and a denim shirt even, and another turtleneck. Be a great little look, you know, for a chilly day. You don't want the sleeves on. But I, I just was something about it that drew me into it. I thought, oh, I can work with that. I can put this over one of my faux leather skirts, over some faux leather pants or leather pants or suede pants, you know. But, I thought it was just a cool little piece to have, throw it in your wardrobe, 
added to two things and I wanted to share that with you. I want you to see that. And it's all a part of the layers. Just put the layers on, you know, a turtleneck. I love wearing a turtleneck under a blouse. I just do. It just looks so nice. Look at that. I know this ponytail is it's doing what it wants to do. It's just doing what it wants to do. So in the meantime, I think this bag, and I love this bag. I've been trying to really utilize her because she's a good good bag to go with my denim stuff, especially if you put some denim with some winter layers. We need to do a video maybe on your how to wear your denim in the winter, except denim's not the warmest thing to wear in the winter. There was a time, and I don't know if they still do, uh, Eddie Bauer made the flannel line jeans. Oh, I had, I think, three pairs of those. On those cold days, oh, the, the jeans were lined in flannel. Mm. I think I even bought my husband some. He still has his, and he can still fit his. Of course, the styles changed, and they were lower. I wish they would do some more. I haven't even checked Eddie Bauer lately, so they just still might. But that would be great if you can get some denim that's got the flannel lining and something like this on, and big sweater, throw it on, and just... <laughs> you're going to be cozy, cute, and warm. There we go. We're going to be cozy, cute, and warm. All right. Okay, let's see. Next, I'm going to show you some more layers. I will show you what's next. Let's just get ready for look number two. This is look number one with this. I just feel like a fat pig in it, but I look like one too, but that's okay. We are dressing the beauty we are today. And when we gain weight, ladies, what do we do? We dress that gained weight person. We lose weight, we dress that loose, lost weight person. Anyway, we dress the beauty we are today because no matter what it is, we're still beautiful. We just got to look in there and pull it out and say, she's beautiful. She might be a little thicker, but she's beautiful. She might be a little thinner, but she's beautiful. Okay, so we're not going to uh, like say, oh, uh, it is hard. I know it's hard. I'm going through it. And yet I'm right now thinking about what I could eat. <laughs> Go figure. I'll be back. Right back with the next look for you. But in the meantime, layer up. It's cold outside. Okay, look number two. Layered up and ready for the chilly breezes, right? The cold breezes. I pulled out the new bag this time. I thought, why not? We got leopard, we got snake skin. Let's go, go, as I always say, go big or go home. So I pulled this out and I just pulled out my leopard wrap from Chico's. Changed my earrings to the Tory Burch earrings. Added a little pearls. This is my um, mango sweater you've seen before. I love this sweater. Love, love, love this sweater. And my, uh, this sweater I've shown two, I've had it two winters. It's, I think it's a Vince Camuto I got at Dillard's. It's kind of fuzzy, you know, sheds on everything. So it's probably good to wear it with white, you know, winter white. But again, it's the layers. It's all about the layers, you know. You just put on the layers. I have on the Chico's slow, so slimming pants. Remember, the I have the white ones. Really, just put that on. Put that on. You're layered up, warmed up. Oh, you just want to be warm. You just want to be huggable. You know how you, when you just wrap something nice and soft around you and it's chilly? And that's how you want to feel and that's how this makes me feel. And I think this little bag is adorable. And if I wanted to just put it on my shoulder, I love how you just pull it out and, and then I can still put it up under my arm and keep going, you know, keep going. On my feet is an old pair of little short, they're ankle bolts, they're uh, Zesto Mucho, I got from Mormies. Love them, they're pointed toe and brown. Let's see, oh, let me show you. They're just short little boots like that. So I put that on, get it back down. <laughs> so that's got the brown down there. I decided to just match up, you know, connect the brown with the bag and then put this on. So cozy and warm and cute, that's right. We're all about cute, cozy, and warm, and I stuck this hair up in a rat's tail, trying to just get it up because it was just all over the place. One good thing about this fuzzy, fuzzy ponytail, I can, like, 
puff it up and twist it around and it's up. It's easy. <laughs> easy peasy easy. All right, ladies, how do you like this look? We, we, we have done two cozy looks. We got two more to do. And I think it's just, this is what this season is all about. It's cold now. Baby, it's cold outside, as they say. It's cold outside. Wanna go home? Oh, it's up to your knees out there. You know the song. You know the song that they say now is not a good song, but I love that song. Anyway, how you like this look, ladies? Just, you know, put, you know I love a wrap. So pull out a wrap, break up all the cream with the little leopard and put the brown boots on with it. And you've got a recipe for a great look. A Deborah Berry special. <laughs> Which is, when I say it's Deborah Berry special, it's classic, it's simple, and it's cute. It's all you want. It's my fashion, my style, my choice, my age. It can be your choice, your fashion, your style, your age. And just do it up. Fix it up or whatever makes you feel comfortable. But I know you've got these pieces in your wardrobe and it's getting chilly all over the place. So you can play with these layers or take a few off. And if you're in Florida, well, if you travel to these colder states, this is some things you could bring with you and put on and, and look fabulous. And this would be easy to travel in. Stretch pants and easy. And just put them on and put the wrap on. Because, you know, Anyway, let's get ready for look number three coming up. We're going to really do some, I'm going to do some mixing and matching. Don't even think I'm crazy. I'm going to put the looks together. I'm just trying to layer up to show you how we layer over here at the Berry household. <laughs> and I will be right back with the next look for you. And I love this bag. I might have to get her in another color and another color and one of the the colors to carry in spring, like the purple or the blue. It comes in a blue that would be great with denim. I need to think about that, right? So I'll be back with the next one, ladies. Baby, it's cold outside. And I mean, I'm wrapped up this time. I have on boiled wool. I have on faux leather. I have on boots. I have on turtleneck. I am layered, layered, layered for the cool temps and I'm classic, cool, and cute, right? I pulled out Tori. I didn't take the... What do you call this? The, the, I didn't take the Tuli off, the Twilly off. It'll come to me. But the color, again, this color works so well with this whole look with all these caramels and browns and then just black accents, black turtleneck. Banana Republic Black Belt. And I have had this boiled wool. It's a heavy, heavy double faced wool, boiled wool. I got it at Anthropology a couple of winters ago. Never worn it out of the house. Used it in a couple of videos. But it is so warm. So, so heavy and warm. And I have on a pair of uh, old boots from Mormy that are probably 15 years old. Not more. I mean, I got these at DSW, so they might be maybe 10 years old. But they're a Zesto, I think Zesto Zucci. They have that little lace in the back. It's very subtle. Nice little heel. Perfect. They're knee-high, tall boots. Really cute. Just the good stuff just hangs around. You know, good stuff never goes out of style. Look at that. Now I want to show you what else I have layered under here. Because I don't have to wear the bag. I wish this had pockets, though. I just wish this piece had pockets. No pockets. But I layered it. Let's get the belt down. It's kind of an A-line cut. Like a trapeze cut top. You know, just like that. Look what I have under it. <laughs> I have on my black sweater. I have on a houndstooth little vest I got from Talbot. It's kind of big on me. So I thought I'd wear it as a layer. Need to take it back. Just didn't take it back. Got it, you know, when they had to sell. It's kind of big on me. Need to offer it to someone else who can fit it. But I thought as a layer, it'll work great. You know, you want to break up. I'm looking in the mirror. I'm sorry. Break up some of the uh, black and the tan and add that. It still picks up 
that. And that's what he wants you to do. You can pull from other pieces in your wardrobe and mix and match it with things. And this, this piece here, oh my God, so warm. You just need a good pair of gloves, a little hat, and you're out the door. And remember, this was the first full leather skirt that I got by Vince Camuto before I went and got the black one. I went and got the silver one. <laughs> then I got the brown one. <laughs> All I needed is a gold one. Come on, best do a gold one. Anyway, but this is the look. I think this, you know, we can all work with this. You can pull a vest and put you just, it's all about the list because this is a heavy, heavy piece of woven cotton. It feels like wool, but I don't know that it's wool. It's got the single button. It's really kind of cute, little vest. Something different. You want to like play with textures and play with colors. And you know, but they blend and then put this on. <laughs> you got that on with your boots and your leather, and you're good to go. You are good to go. You're classic, you're simple, you're pretty. <laughs> I appreciate you hanging with me this long and spending time with me. Now, finale's coming up, and don't forget at the finale. I'm going to show you this piece I got that I want your opinion on. <sighs> Just want your opinion. I need your you need some help, ladies. But the finale, again, I know I know, and this whole palette was toned down with brown and black and and uh, neutrals. And again, finale is going to be black on black. So just get ready. It's going to be black on black. That's that's the way you know. It's the way we do it over here at the DB channel. So. I will be back with the next look, with the finale for you. So, and I thank you. Remember, I'm here every Thursday. Give it a thumbs up, like. I want you to subscribe if you haven't. Share. And hey, I'm just here to help us old gals, us seasoned gals, stay on point. And, you know, always look the part, you know. Because we set the pace. You're there. You don't, the, the younger people are looking up to you. Other age groups are looking up to you. So, hey, and I'm looking up to you. I want you to set the pace so I can go, look at her. She's sharp. I love to see a well-dressed woman of any age. But when it's of the big age, hey, well, you've earned the right. You've earned the right to go buy you a new bag or a new jacket or a new pair of shoes. You have worked long and hard. So, and you can't take it with you. <laughs> you can't take it with you. So, Wallow in it, enjoy it, and be grateful and thankful along the way. And Mrs. Berry will be back with the next look for you. In the meantime, I'm going to go on off with all my little caramel and tan and vicuna, whatever color you want to call it. And Tori going along with it. She with the program, too. Look at that. Look at that. That just goes well together. <laughs> I'll be back with the next look, ladies. When I say worthy of a finale, this is worthy of a finale. All of the black ladies, look. Take it in, take it in, take it in. A black on black, and of course, Tori's here, holding up everything, holding up the, the her end with the suede on the sides. Oh, I, I see one of you, one, I, I sold one of these last week, recently. This is a great bag. Treat yourself to this. It goes with so much, and she's glorious, glorious in so many compartments, and nice, and got feet. My favorite. But okay, everything else I have on. I got so much stuff piled here. Let's put it here. I have on black on black, black ink sweater from last winter. Black uh, mango skirt from probably last winter or winter before last. I've got a lot of those mango skirts, you know, long to the floor. And this sweater coat, it's a sweater coat. Look at it. She's gorgeous. Look at her. She is gorgeous. She comes to the ankles. She's gorgeous. She flows. And she, again, is that boiled wool that was so popular. It's Arena Rowan. I don't even know if she still designs, but I got it when... Macy's used to be called Famous Bar here in St. Louis, so if you're from St. Louis, you remember Famous Bar, and that's how old this is. My God, it's old, and this is my shawl from Ann Taylor. 
It's got the black and the cream and it has little gold threads. Got a little gold in there. I put my coin necklace on from Chico's. Look at that. I knew it would be fun, fun, fun. Look at that. Oh, I'm about ready. There's another one they have that's shorter and it's got just like about four coins around there. I want to get that and wear it with this too. But I'm loving that. Look at that. Make a little noise. Chica, 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 jingle, jangle. And I have on my feet to pick up the gold in the shawl and the gold in the uh, necklace. I have on my gold colored cowboyish cut boot. I think they're Franco Sardo. They're just a short ankle boot. Lovely, lovely. I love that heel. Just great. It works together well with this. And I wanted to just do all the black with it. And just show a look. And it's all about the layers. The sweater, the sweater coat, the shawl. Put that on. We're layered up for winter, for the chillier days. Really layered up. And it's just, it's really nice. It's just a good look that anybody can wear. And you probably have pieces like this in your wardrobe. I was watching Angela Michelle this morning, and she showed some beautiful pieces. And I loved how she got excited about the ones she really liked. And I get that too. Get excited about a great piece because you know you can add that in your wardrobe and it'll be there. It's almost timeless. Some pieces, they just they just speak to you and you just gotta have them. And she was picking out some great pieces. She had a sweater that, whoa, was really awesome. She had some pearls in there too. You need to go watch that. She had some Christmas shopping gifts that you could consider buying for others or yourself. You know, however that goes. Cause you know if we go shopping for others, we're going to see something for ourselves. We're going to always see something for ourselves. And nothing's wrong with that. Buy one for them, buy two for you. <laughs> However you want to work it. But this is the look, the finale with all the black. And like I say, one of you asked me to do a video on all black clothing. And I do have a lot of black clothing. If I can come up with enough, I may do that. Because black is beautiful and so versatile. And mix this well with oh so many things. But I am loving this necklace from Chico's. They still have some, you can go get some. I mean the coins are a nice weight, really nice, just 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 fun. Fun, fun, fun. And I just put on some bracelets, my watch, hoop earrings, kept it like that. Yeah. I am so glad you took time to spend with me. Now I'm gonna show you. Remember I told you to hang around? I want to show you some, a piece I got. I just got, but you know how it looked good online? It looked good in the pictures. And, uh, <clears throat> and I was like, oh, I want that. I, want, I really want a coat as long as this. This is really ankle length. I love a long coat for looking elegant. And I don't mind a knee length coat either. <clears throat> Certain things I like that length, but let me show you this. It's a Ralph Lauren coat. Got so much stuff here. Oh, look at a mess. Beautiful red coat. Let me take it out of the plastic for you. And I've got a great price on it. It's like five hundred some dollars on the Ralph Lauren side. Then they had it on sale for three some. And then Macy's had it. Nordstrom's had it. What am I doing here? And so I got it in Nordstrom. I had some gift cards. So I ended up paying maybe two hundred for it. Let me take this off to show you. And I guess I'm so used to luscious, luscious wool and stuff. And it feels nice enough. And I got it in an 8 thinking I wanted it to be a little big. And it's a little big, but it's got the nice, got the double pockets here. It's got a, I wish it had a little belt in the back. Or I wish it was a little tapered. Maybe that's what it is. What do you guys think? You think I should keep it? Look at the sleeves are nice. I probably should put it on to show you, huh? Maybe I'll do that. I need to hurry. I'm getting hot up in here now. Let me sit it down and let me put it on for you to take this off. <laughs> I love this sweater coat though. We'll take this off. Lightweight, nice but really good. And all these years, not one moth hole in her. And 
and I don't use mothballs. Can't stand the smell of it. Okay, so here we go with this coat. Okay, granted it's not going to look good with this long skirt, but it'll look good with pants, and it'll look good with boots. But I don't know, and I got it at a good price, and I could wear it. What do you guys think? Here it is. Here she is. Oh, she's looking pretty good to me now. <laughs> Sorry, folks. It's looking pretty good, even with the long. I, I mean, I, it looks better now that I'm showing it to you guys. So what do you think? Should I keep her? And I got the eight, so I could maybe put, a, maybe not a blazer under her, but because of mother hips here, I can at least button that. And I the whole buttons their coat all the way up anyway. Who does that? You know? And my husband told me, you must have liked it. You got it. And I, I can't beat this price. I love the buttons. I love it. <laughs> all right, Ralph. You're redeemed. I kind of like the red coat. What do you think, ladies? Is she a keeper? Should I keep her? She's really quite striking now that I'm showing her to you. Maybe I just needed to put it on with the lights and with some clothes, you know. And the length is not bad. Again, the length is comfortable enough. It'll look good with pants, and it doesn't look bad with this longer skirt. Okay. I don't have to ask you. I think I'm a keeper. I'm going to keep her. You know what I do wish? I wish that that shawl I showed you last week by Antonio Milani, the Damn Rich collaboration, was a blue red. It's an orange red. Wouldn't this be great with the red shawl with it? Then I do sell a coat to that shawl that matches it. But whoa, it would have been so great with this. But I can still put I can still put this on, you know. I can still put this on with this coat. Yeah. I can still wear this with it. It looks good with this too. You know, I want to put a shawl on. Okay. Now she's listed, the tag on here says 330. I'm telling you, Ralph Lorenz, it was $500. Macy had it for $500. And then I got it at Nordstrom and had some off. So, anyway, so, and she comes in another color too, but we all need a red coat in our life. I used to have a red trench coat that I loved, so hey, you know, as you know, I'm keeping my coat. I like the looseness of it now. I like it. I don't know what I wanted to do, but, and it feels nice. Let me put it up close for you. The button, the stitching, you know, it's not the high end of Ralph. But it's a it's a comfortable working girl kind of in a rails. But I think you'll like it. It's got a red lining. There you go. There you go. There you go. So we gonna keep we gonna keep Abba's red coat. All right. So thank you again. <laughs> I thank you. I I just needed to put it on for you, and now it's like I like this red coat. I like the buttons. I like the red coat. <laughs> anyway, I appreciate you stopping by in your day to spend some time with me. And hey, go out and get your red coat. Put your layers on. It's all about to imagine this with a big turtleneck and gloves. So anyway, I got another coat I'm going to show you. But I'm not showing you to that till I do my holiday stuff. You're going to die. You're going to die. It's just going to die. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Anyway, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for taking time to watch me play in my closet to help you with your looks and put your looks together. And I hope I inspired you to, to how to do your layers because we've got layers in there. Just you've got all the pieces. Just layer them up. Turtleneck under a blouse, you know. Turtleneck under a, a jacket. Uh, if you don't like turtlenecks, put your, put your crew neck sweater on. Put a scarf around your neck or something. Just put your layers on, a vest over this and that, you know, and um, keep it classic, keep it simple, and make it oh so pretty. You can't go wrong. So I'm going to sign off now with my pink lipstick on and, and this uh, red jacket, red coat. Hey, the red coats are coming. Yes, they are. So don't be without the red coat. You know what we say here? Leave a little kindness everywhere you go. 
come back see me next week we're getting close to uh, I know I was, was going to try to do vlogmas I don't have the energy or the wherewithal to do a video every day but I will try to feature some things I run across and show you so we'll just try to put them in each week for you because I like the rest you know how that is anyway I love you I thank you I appreciate you I'll see you next week. Bye, ladies.